Last week, I bottomed out on my emotions in a way that I have never done before. Um, without going too much into the details of the situation, I was confused on when God was telling me, you're going to have to fight your emotions on this. You're going to have to fight them tears. You're going to have to fight your instinct to go do something. You're going to have to fight the reaction that you normally have based on a situation like this. You're going to have to fight all that because fighting that is what's actually making this situation better. And it was so hard and it still is hard. And I was so confused and so aggravated that God, if this is better then why do I feel like I do? I thought better was supposed to be happy and, and smiley and, and that's not how it is y'all. Sometimes we have got to lose ground to gain position. Sometimes, like Pastor Furtick said this weekend, and of all weekends for him to deliver this message was a godsend to me, that sometimes better feels backwards. And you have got to hit a pit. I had to hit a pit of my emotions. I had to fight the emotions that I had to go save and do what I've always done to understand to better the situation was not for me to save it, but to give it to him. And as hurtful as it is and as painful and as confusing as it is for me not to go do something that would help my emotions, help me not feel this way. I had to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. And God said the bigger picture is better. But for that bigger picture to get better, you're going to have to fight your emotions and fight your reactions to right now. Can you do that for me? And so the fact that this weekend, Pastor Furtick preached when better feels backwards. <sighs> Y'all, it's going to hurt. It still hurts. But when better feels backwards know that there's a propelled forward. God is working on you internally, probably on other people internally. And sometimes you've got to fall back for everything else to be better 